Yo, what's up, family? Second part on talking about the ungodly woman. She also will not love others with the love of God. Matthew 22, 37 through 40. Because she she's not a truly experienced the love of God herself. She cannot give what she does not have. She may try to love by controlling others, by being a people pleaser, by being the victim, or being a martyr, or manipulating with guilt. She'll use her words to cause destruction and death, Proverbs 18, 21. She doesn't truly trust in God and doesn't rest in his sovereignty and feels that she knows what's best for her and that she will work it out herself. Um, this results in great stress, worry, fear, and anxiety. Um... They harbor hatred and resentment, bitterness, bitterness and unforgiveness in her heart. Um, she may want to forgive, but it just seems impossible in her eyes. She just justifies to hang on to the grudges and resentment. She doesn't want to let go of bitterness. She cherishes her bitterness. Constantly stirring up contention in her home and an extended family, at work, etc. with friends. Um, so strife, gossip, dissension, arguments, and discord. Um, consumed by false humility, insecurity, and self-hatred, like a form of pride, except in lies of this world and the enemy over the truth of the Bible. She leans on her own understanding family instead of the full, fully trusting the wisdom of God, Proverbs 3, 5. Unable to stop constant stream of worry and what-ifs in her mind, consumed by fears and thoughts of bad things that might happen, Philippians 4, 4 through 8, has no godly wisdom or discretion, family, whatsoever, Proverbs eleven twenty two. Absolutely despises God's word, whether they claim to be a believer or not. Um, wisdom and godly correction, they'll always, if they are a so-called believer, they'll always say, oh, don't judge me, you know, only God can judge me. That's one of their favorite lines. Or she may distort God's word, ignore God's words, choose parts of God's word that she doesn't agree with, or she may just not be able to see or hear God's word. She may be bristled if anyone dare rebuke her, because after all, she's always right. Proverbs 1 7. She be they're always insecure because her security is not. In Christ, she may have idols in her heart, self, romance, happiness, control, having it her way, you know, beauty, thinness, wealth, children, etc. These things are more important to her. The things of this world, basically, are more important to her than Jesus. She cannot find, you know, contentment or joy in other things at all. She knows she does not measure up or is not finding enough acceptance or validation in them. She is looking to worldly things and people to meet the needs that only Jesus can meet, family. The results are always going to be anxiety, fear, depression, loneliness, discontentment, insecurity, and bitterness. And again, that's in Galatians 5.20. Um, they'll be involved in any kind of sinful thoughts, words, or behavior, family. Um, not having any prick of the conscience about staying in sin thinks her sin is not that bad. 1 John chapter 4 and James 2. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6, 23. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is a gift from God and not by works. Ephesians chapter 2, 8 through 10, family. Praise God because there is forgiveness, grace, healing, and mercy available to all of the ones that sin. And your sin, you know, and the only way you could obtain that is through the blood of Jesus Christ, and it can cover any sin. When we turn to him in faith, he can and will cleanse us from all the sin and filth, and he can give us a new heart, family, a new mind and soul. He can give us a new abundant life. He gave all for us, and now we surrender all to him and make him our Savior and our Lord. And family, try not to be this type of woman, because like I said, in today's times, they're everywhere. You know, and and what's sad is to see the ones that call themselves believers of God and, you know, you see how they present themselves. The old saying, you know, you'll know them by their fruits. Look at their fruits. I mean, anybody can say, I believe in God and post a little prayer on their Facebook or their social media platform and, and their heart is far from the Lord. The main thing that's very important, family, is discernment in the spirit. You know, pray for that gift. I love you guys. Y'all stay blessed. Later.